Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to Heyday. And today we're going to start off with the Heyday Wiki. Now the Heyday Wiki is a wonderful place to go for resource information about the game of Heyday. If you head on over there, there's a lot of sections there that will give you some wonderful information. Now today we're going to be heading on over to the fishing area and doing a spot of fishing. I've had someone say to me, can you please show me how to catch some fish? Now I've covered this a few times, but let's go do it again one more time and I can also highlight the wiki at the same time as doing this. Now the wiki itself gives you some information about the fish, tells you when you can get it from level 27. It's free of course, the fishing area, you don't actually have to pay for it, you've just got to pay for the boat to get into that area. Fishing for fish is actually a free activity once you've made the worm lures, you don't have to spend any vouchers or coins, and there are spots available as well. Now if you want more lures of a different kind, you've got to use your vouchers for that, then you can catch different kinds of fish. You've also got the option to open up more fishing spots, and again you're going to have to find the resources for that, but basically the fishing area is free. And once you're in the fishing area, you've got some options. You can catch fish, or you can actually work on ducks, feathers, or you can work on lobster tails. But like I said, today it's all about fishing. Now there are two key ways of catching fish. Number one is using a fishing hook with a lure. Number two is to make a net and then catch them that way. Now the net is a wonderful way. I like that one. It gives you the chance to catch at least three fillets within the one net, and then you can actually just place those down in your fishing spots, come back there many, many hours later, and each of those nets will give you three fish. Brilliant. It's wonderful. Okay, very, very easy. But that's the easy method. Now, the more challenging one is the actual fishing itself. Now, each of the fishing spots will give you a variety of fish. The fish that you need to catch can be found and located in the actual building that is by the side of your fishing pond. And inside there is your fishing book. When you open up the fishing book, you will get a lot of information about the kinds of fish that you have or haven't caught. Now, each fish has four key weights. There is a bronze weight, silver, gold, and platinum. And each of those weights will give you specific quantities of diamonds. A bronze will give you one diamond, silver two, gold three, and platinum four diamonds. So it's actually worthwhile opening up the fishing spots to catch the fish. Now, once you've caught, let's say, a bronze fish weight, you can still keep catching fish of the same weight. You just won't get any more diamonds for that one fish of that weight. But you can still get the for the silver and the gold and the platinum until again you've caught all of those fish. So give it a go. There's a lot of diamonds there. Now what kind of fish are there? Well there's actually quite a lot and these fish can be caught in 15 different locations. You can see here from an updated map it goes from number one all the way around to number 15. Now each fishing spot is allowing you to catch fish, and then each fishing spot has a cool down period. Now that cool down period means that a little bird will sit on the pond, stopping you from fishing in that fishing spot location. And that bird will sit there for a specific amount of time, as you can see here, ranging from two hours all the way up till four hours. Now, if you want that bird to disappear quickly, you've got a couple of choices. Number one, you can use diamonds and it will then fly away. Or number two, you can use a booster, which will turn around that fishing spot a lot faster, thus giving you the ability to get that fishing spot open so you can catch the fish. Now, what fish are there to be caught? Well, there's a wonderful list down here, all in alphabetical order. You can change it around as well, that goes through each of the fish, the kind of lures that you need for each of the fish, and the best circle size. Now, some of these fish can only be caught in certain spots. As an example, a bitterlim is a purple small circle in spot number six. And you can see there, there's like a small circle, there's a medium circle. If you go back through there, you'll see that there's a large one as well. And depending on the fish, will depend on the circle size that you actually need for this. Now you'll see here that it says like any spot, uh, it says any spot 3, it gives you the XP amount, uh, it tells you the weight information there as well. Uh, there's basically a lot of information in this Heyday Wiki that relates to all of the fish. 
Now today when I go over there, I'm going to try and catch some of the fish I've not been able to catch. And if I slide on down there, you can see quite a lot of the fish in question. Now one I want to catch is the golden trout. Now this fish is available at spot number three. It's a very, very small circle and requires a golden lure. And if I click on the golden trout, that will bring up the information. We can have a look at that in more detail. So there you go. The golden trout is a type of fish. It, like all types of fish, each golden trout will give one fillet when caught. Level 27, spot number three, small circle and 20 experience points. Now spot number three is the waterfall just over there. So that's where we will be going to try and catch that fish. So fingers crossed. And if I do catch it, I will be very, very, very happy indeed. Okay, right, let's head on over to the game. So we close off the Heyday Wiki. Make sure you do go and check it out. Like I said, it's very, very useful. The game reconnects for me, and we are back in the fishing area. There are some locations here that are very, very important. Like I said, there is the actual fisherman's hut there. Click on that. That will tell you all of the fish that you need to catch. You can see the ones that are flashing at the moment because I've caught the key weights that I need, and those ones have diamonds ready for me to collect. You can see which ones are still to be caught because the actual fish weight is not highlighted yet so there's three on this page without platinum versus the one that is you can see the different kind of lures that are available and you can see this golden trout one which i still haven't caught available at spot number three i need the gold and i need the platinum weight there now, as a reminder, these fish here, the Xander, the giant barbs with this little logo above it, are the fishing event fish. And they are only available during fishing events, and they are really, really, really heavy. If you look at the regular weights here, like uh, 2.62 pounds, 4.42 pounds, 1.89 pounds, like uh, 12 pounds, 12 pounds, 11 pounds, 13 pounds there, those event fish are the heavy ones, and they can only be caught during events. Now, this machine here allows me to make nets and lures. So you'll see here the two machines that I've got for making those products. And you just keep loading them up, and it will just keep making the ones that you require. So very, very easy. So two beautiful machines for making. The worm lure is the one that is free of charge, of course. You don't have to pay for that. But like I said, these others will actually require require lures to make them these other machines down here relate to the lobsters and the duck don't need to worry about that one and these are all the fishing spots you'll see there there's 15 available when you first start there's a couple but you're trying to open them up as best as you can Right now, the request I had was about the actual placement of the lures within the area and some action. So I'm actually going to show you some different techniques that we use for this one. So number one, I tap on the area. It brings up my lure options. As I scroll through there, you can see that I've also got traps as well. So I'm not going to touch the traps. If I did, it will place those down and then that fishing spot is dead for goodness knows how many hours. I want to use this first menu, which is lures only. Now, what I want to do is catch that fish. I'm going to bring out a golden lure. So all I do is I touch the lure like so and I just drag it out and then it goes into the water and you'll see there it's sitting. The fish will come up to it and start biting. The lure will disappear into the water. Now look at the outside of the circle. Look at the way it's coming in. Look at the way the fish is fighting me. It could be the one I want or it may not be. Now if it's a red line like this it means you're losing the fish and the fish will struggle, 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 struggle until you lose it because it's gone outside the frame. All you need to do again is to bring the lure back into that spot where it's located. The fish will come up, will bite it again, and you're trying to keep that fish within the white area. Now, what you want to try and do is get that fish into that small circle in the bottom. And if you can do that, then fantastic. Now, if you look at the size of the circle there to the fish, you'll see that the actual circle size itself is about the same size of the fish. So that's like a medium to small size. Now, the fish actually wants to go into that spot. There's a couple of actions for doing this one. Now I can do around and around in circle like this which will keep it in roughly the same spot. I can go backwards and forwards like this as well which will keep it in the roughly the same location. Or I can fight it and pull it backwards and forwards like so and try to drag it into that location. Now if I let it go I lose it. But those are your three key techniques for trying to keep that fish in that spot. Now every time you try a different lure maybe the circle size is different 
And again, depending on the spot, as you saw per the wiki, will depend on the size of circles. Like, that's a really big one there. And that's not what I want to catch. I want to get a smaller circle. So I'm looking for a circle that's literally just smaller than the fish itself. And each of the circles on the outer side vary in their speed. Like this one here, the fish is kind of wiggling backwards and forwards. The circle is coming in relatively fast, so that's probably not the one that I want. Again, if I bring the lure back down and you watch the outer white circle, sometimes they're really, really slow. Sometimes they come in very quickly. So like you see here, the fish is biting, the circle's coming in relatively quickly. There's a bit of a pull on the fish, which means it could be the fish that I want, but it again may not be. Uh, but again, what you need to do is to think about how you get that fish into that spot. Look at the circle size. That's very, very important indeed. Okay, let's just do it. Let's catch a fish. So we put the lure down in there. The fish bites and the circle's tiny. It's coming in too quickly for my taste. I don't like that one. I'm going to let it go. Again, I do another lure back down there. Golden lure again. And we'll see how the actual fish is coming. Okay, it's tweaking backwards and forwards. Again, the circle is coming in too fast for my liking. And the fish is not really fighting me. We do it again. Now, I can't be guaranteed to get the fish that I want, but I'm trying to hedge my bet by looking for a circle that is slower moving to come into the center. The fish is a bit of a fight up. See, that circle there is way too big. The circle's way too fast. That's completely wrong. And I'm literally trying to get the right circle shape with the right size to match up with the fish with the right lure. It's sometimes easy, sometimes not, but it's basically this pattern. Okay, whatever I get this time, I'm going to go with it. Nope, that's too big. The circle is just too large. I want a tiny circle. And you just keep replacing and replacing and replacing. I better not say I'm just going to go with it. Let's see. So if we get a small circle and it's slow moving, we'll stick with that one. Okay, that's relatively slow. It's still coming in a little too fast. The fish is not really fighting to me as much as I like. It's probably not going to be the fish. I want but let's take it anyway so I'm keeping it in that center and not really fighting it at all it's just staying in there and it wasn't the one I wanted oh well I got a nice rod it's 3.847 pounds it's nothing special there just a normal fish now there is the bird now like I said I can use the diamonds if I wanted to to speed up that spot or I can just leave it at the two hours and 59 minutes if I've got a boost up then a booster would be very very nice here now I got a lot of boosters down there but not really any I've got got a lure booster which is kind of nice it produces like 50 percent faster for the next eight hours which is kind of cool uh, i could activate that one if i wanted to uh, or i've got a bird booster down there for my feathers which is again finishing those ducks a lot faster as well but like nothing really that relates to the seagulls right now let's come down here i'm going to try a blue lure in this location and hopefully i will get some fish that i want as well so again i'm trying for the small circle hopefully it won't be too much of a fighter but you never know Okay, now that's a medium-sized circle. Look at that. You can see it's not as big as it is originally. It's a little bit over the size of the fish. And in this case, it just gives me a very simple salga. Now, it's a bronze weight there. Nothing too heavy, nothing too special. I probably got all of those anyway. Again, we come down to another spot and we start fishing in this location. And I'm going to do a blue lure here as well. Let's see what we get. Now, small circle. This fish is a bit of a fighter. You can see the way it's pulling against this one. So I've got choices. I can do this technique here, which is backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, keeping it in the spot. And that seems to be working but it's still fighting me, so I've got to be really careful. And it's one that I need. So it's a white catfish, and it's a silver weight. So even though it was one I wanted, the weight is not high enough. But you saw what I did there. You saw that I'm fighting it, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Now, if we come back down to these new fishing spots again, blue lures down here, and fingers crossed, small circle again I'm aiming for. For me at the moment, the tiny circles are the more beneficial ones. Uh, but again, we'll see. Medium sized there. I'm going to just go with it anyway. So a medium sized circle. Not much of a fight on this fish. I can just leave it. It will just drag it in there. And there we go. No problems as well. That one's a standard full fish. And again, another silver. So weight wise, not so good. Right, I'm going to go with a purple in this one here. So let's see what we're going to get. Uh, purple this time medium sized circle nothing too big you can see it's slightly larger the circles coming in very quickly on the outside it's not fighting me at all uh, again another circle in this case but weight wise still a silver so it's nice fillets yeah but nothing really beneficial for what i really want 
And, oh well, uh, it happens. There's nothing I can do about it. I've just got to try and catch the fish that I want, and hopefully they will come up in the right places. Again, medium-sized circle here. I'm just letting it just drag into the circle, not really doing anything. And what do we get this time? We got a blue-spotted sunfish and a bronze weight there as well. So, oh well, it's nice. Back up here, we're going to do a purple. Let's see what we get this time. Show medium sized circle. Let's let that one go. Okay, let's try another purple there. Let's see if we can find a small circle. Let's see what a small tiny circle will give me. There we go. Nice small tiny circle. Not really fighting me. The outer circle is coming in medium to fast. Uh, it's just staying in the location. I don't have to do anything. So that one is a beautiful greater red horse, but a bronze weight again. Yeah, very nice, but uh, again, not perfect, not perfect, not perfect. Let's go do a blue down here. Now, like I said, there's 15 fishing spots here, and each fishing spot will give a specific type of fish. The Heyday Wiki itself is the one you need to go to. Make sure you do read it, check it out, keep your eye on it, mark down what you want to aim for. Get your lures prepared and ready. And if there's a fishing event coming up, save your lures for the fishing event because you'll get a really, really heavy fish and it will allow you to do tasks very quickly. If you're going to be doing a derby as an example, then great, work on the derby and make sure you can do your fishing tasks quickly as well. Try to combine the fishing derby with a fishing event is wonderful. Now, if you don't really care about catching the fish, the worms, I said, are the easy ones. They don't cost anything. You'll get a lot of fish that way. On average, you could probably do about 40 pounds in weight in one round of fishing. So depending on your derby task, again, depends on how many rounds of fishing you've got to do. Uh, 40 pounds is about the minimum. You could do a lot more, but again, it depends on the fish you are catching. If you're catching these ones here, these beautiful sockeye salmons, they're big, they're fat, they're juicy, and they are very good on the worm lures. Now, the worm lures, as I said, don't cost you anything. Make loads of those, build up your storage, and just keep them there. Right, now that's the video finished. There's not much more I can show you here. Okay, it's all about just catching the fish. Like I said, there's different actions. You've got the backwards and forwards motion. You've got the circular one going around and around and around. So let me just recap on that again. So backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. Keeps it in the same spot. Around and around and around and around and around. Or just fighting it like this and it keeps the fishing space. Now, if you do splash the water, it scares the fish away, by the way. So look at that. So if you want the fish to go away and then maybe another one comes up just splash it a little bit and then it will take it and then you just do what you need to do so oh he's got a little bit of a pull on that one okay nice sockeye salmon again as well right but uh that's it it's over it's done with hopefully that answers your question i've got a few more spots to do which i will get back to in a moment and there are more fish to be caught over here as well if i can catch those i'm in no hurry anyway so fishing is a relaxing task or it should be but I will see you next time. Take care. Have fun. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share on the video and tell your friends about the fishing video as well in case they're not really sure on what to do. See you next time and bye now.